It is a beauty pageant with a different purpose, to focus on the environment. This year's Miss Earth USA is in Chicago to talk about the organization's initiatives. Danielle Mullins will now represent the USA in the global Miss Earth competition this coming fall. But first, she's stopping to visit with us here on Good Day Chicago. Good morning, Danielle. So nice to have you. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Well, Miss Earth. Now, you're a Kentucky girl, right? I am. Okay, you are now Miss Earth USA. Uh, what exactly is Miss Earth? How long has it been around and what's different? It's been around, I believe, since 2000, so a little over 20 years now. And what makes us so different, though, is our heart for environmental service. We say we're beauties for a cause, and I always mm -hmm. say it's much more than a pretty face. It's the face of change. I think people look at pageant girls and think stereotypical, there's nothing more to them. And truly, there is so much more. And for us, it's our focus on what we can do for the environment and how we can lead that frontier of change to make a difference. Okay, so you said you have been a pageant girl before, right? Yes. And you decided to quit, but then this changed everything. Explain what happened. You know, when I was 18, I really just lost self-confidence in myself, and I felt like this was not something for me, and I didn't believe in myself. So I stepped out, and I focused on going to college and my career path there, but I found the Miss Earth organization, mm -hmm. and I really loved what they stand for. I have such a heart for the environment and what I can do to help make that positive impact. So I knew when I saw what they were doing, as much as I love the glitz and the glam, but mm -hmm. also being able to get my hands dirty, I had to come out of retirement. Okay, so let's talk about what they're doing. Give me some examples. So that's part of what brings me to Chicago. Mm -hmm. In the morning, I'm getting with the Chicago Regional Tree Initiative, and I'm going to take part in their tree planning project in the morning for a couple of hours. But then for me, my focus as my day job as a makeup artist, mm -hmm. I work with wands for wildlife and I'm able to take all the disposable mascara wands I would normally just have to discard and we're able to reuse them and repurpose them to provide medical aid for wildlife animals. Wow, so this is really all about the environment in every way, shape or form. How does that affect what you do, what the pageant does as far as, you know, like your crown and the things that you wear? I mean, is everything thought about till the very end, you know? You know, I think it has to be to mm -hmm. a certain degree. I know for me, especially with preparing for my upcoming Miss Earth competition. It's thinking about what's next, the best way to execute everything, but also looking back and knowing that when my reign comes to an end, which I've been very blessed at this point now to have two years mm -hmm. as a Miss Louisville Earth and Miss Kentucky Earth and now Miss Earth USA, I want to make sure that I'm so proud of the work that I've put in and that I don't feel like there was anything more I could have possibly done. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I do think to a certain degree that always is going to be in your mind. What more Can could I, do, I have but, done? Yeah. But just making the most of every moment. Well, we wish you the best of luck. The competition is probably in November, you said? Be leaving about mid-November, and I'll be there through Christmas. That's crazy to think about. Okay, and it's not just one event. It's a lot of service work and everything. Correct. Everybody comes together, and then they pick a winner from that. Danielle Mullins, Miss Earth USA. We wish you the best of luck. Thank you Thank so you much. Thank you so much for coming in. Great to meet you. Thank you. And